I'm gonna show you how to work a modified three needle bind off. But first I wanna point out the difference between a, a standard three needle bind off and this modified version. Um, with the standard version, you get this purl ridge that accompanies the bind off chain across your fabric. Um, but with the modification, that purl ridge disappears and the bind off chain lays more flat against your fabric. It's a really great technique to know, especially when you're working a three needle bind off on the right side of the fabric. I'm gonna show you how to work a modified three needle bind off. As you're gonna see here, I have two swatches of stockinette stitch. Um, I have them on these parallel needles and the right side of my fabric is facing up. I'm gonna pick these up in my left hand, keeping them parallel. But before we work anything, of course, we need a third needle, um, as the name indicates. I'm going to be using this double pointed needle, but um, it just happened to be what I had around. You can use any spare needle that's the same size as your working needles. All right, so I also need, of course, working yarn. I'm going to be working in a contrast color just for demonstration purposes here today. The first thing I'm going to do is take the tip of my third needle and insert it knitwise into the first stitch on the front needle. I'm going to wrap my working yarn around, around, that, uh, around that needle just as I would to knit any normal stitch. Next, I'm going to take the tip of this needle and insert it purlwise into the first stitch on the back needle. Once again, wrap your yarn around the needle as you would normally. Now just exit that back needle like so. Bring your working yarn to the back in order to exit that front needle. Now that you've done that, you can let these first two stitches here fall off those left needles. Let's do that again. Insert the tip of your third needle or the needle in your right hand knitwise into the first stitch on the front needle, wrap your yarn around, insert it into the back, the first stitch on the back needle purlwise, wrap the yarn around, exit that first stitch on the back needle, bring your yarn to the back, and exit the stitch on the front needle. And then let those two stitches fall off the left needles. At this point, we now have two stitches on our right needle so I'm going to use the tip of one of my left needles to pick up that first stitch and pull it up and over the second stitch, binding it off. All right, let's keep going. Into your right needle, into the first stitch on the front needle knitwise. Wrap your yarn around. Insert your right needle into the first stitch on the back needle purlwise. Wrap it around. Exit that back stitch. Bring your yarn to the back exit that front stitch, let those two stitches fall off, and here we are again with two stitches on the right needle. Use one of your left needles to pick up the first stitch and bind one off. We're going to keep going. Insert your right needle into the front stitch knitwise, wrap your yarn. Into the back stitch purlwise, wrap your yarn. Exit that back stitch, bring your yarn to the back, exit that front stitch. Let those two stitches fall off the left needles, bind one off. As you can see here, we have a kind of a chain appearing right here at the join of these two, these two fabrics. So you're gonna just continue in this fashion, working into the stitches on the front needle knitwise and working into the stitches on the back needle purlwise and binding off as you go.